This fascinating old case began with a rebellion against the deeply unpopular King James III of Scotland. Most of the nobles were against the king, but he could tilt the situation back in his favour by creating a bunch of new nobles, and so he created the Dukedom of Montrose in 1488, and the new Duke of Montrose was loyal to King James III. Just a month later, at the Battle of Sorshiburn, the rebel army, led by King James's 15-year-old son, defeated the king's army. King James III was slain during the battle, and his son took the throne as King James IV. Unsurprisingly, James IV wanted to remove these new noble titles that had been created simply to oppose his rebellion. And so, in October 1488, the Parliament of Scotland passed a rescission act, which read in glorious old Scottish language, It is statute and ordaint that all creation of new dignities granted or given to any person or personus seen the second day of February last be cassit and annullit and of nain effect nor force. 350 years later, the distant but direct descendant of the Duke of Montrose argued that in fact the title had never been validly withdrawn, and that he was in fact the Duke of Montrose, and entitled to the lands and the income which went with the title. The basis for his argument was essentially that the statute in 1488 was not valid, because it did not specifically identify Montrose as one of the dukedoms to be rescinded. Now, under the rules of statutory interpretation in the 1850s, an act with punitive effect like that would have been required to specifically identify those who were to be affected. But should that rule apply to legislation passed in the late 15th century? When that rule of statutory interpretation was unknown? The House of Lords said no. The Lord Chancellor said, The construction of very ancient statutes may be elucidated by what, in the language of the courts, is called contemporanea expositio, that is, seeing how they were understood at the time. And at the time, it had been clear that the hereditary dukedom had been rescinded so the claim of the descendant failed. From this case, we learn that when construing old statutes, we must consider the meaning which the Parliament would have given to those words at the time the legislation was passed, rather than their contemporary meaning. Mm -hmm.